Hi everyone, Miss Jess from the Monroe Street Art Center, and I have your final project for your acorn art kit. Um, these are called experimental, um, I don't know, experimental acorn prints, I guess. Super fun to play around with different colors and different textures. Um, and we're also gonna be talking a bit about pattern today. Okay, so inside of your art kit, you're gonna find a nice thick piece of this brown cardstock. This is what I decided to cut out and use as the very top of my acorn. Any piece of white paper will do or any other color that you wanna use, okay? And there's two different ways that I'm gonna show you how to do this today. This one is with paint, either temper paint or acrylic paint, um, and then this one is done with Crayola markers, okay? Um, maybe I'll show you the markers first and then we'll do paint. So what I've done is drawn out sort of the bottom shape of an acorn, which is just like a big letter U, right? And then this is gonna be my acorn cap that ends up going on top of it. I have not cut it out from my background yet because I'm gonna wait until I get my color on here. So I've drawn it out with pencil. I like the shape, right? The next thing you need to do is use a piece of tin foil, okay? Shiny, crinkly tin foil. Um, there's like two sides to tin foil. One of the sides is really shiny. The other side is still shiny, but it's like a little bit more dull. We're gonna use the super shiny side, okay? So super shiny side is facing me, up towards me. And then I'm gonna pick out some of my favorite colors of Crayola markers. And I think I've got every color of the rainbow here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use all of them. Um, with this project, you need to have really juicy Crayola markers, um, and you might even still need to use a little bit of water on a paintbrush for the part of this step later on, too. So consider that. Consider the space that you're working on if you need to put down a towel or something so it doesn't get wet or damaged, okay? I'm going to start with my red, and I'm just going to color right on to my aluminum foil. Go all the way to the sides. Let's see, if I'm making a rainbow... I'm gonna do a little bit of each color. So red and then orange, yellow. And the yellow is definitely hard to see right now. Red, orange, yellow, and I'll hold it up in a second. Green. Blue. Notice how I'm capping up my markers after each color that I use so that they stay nice and they don't dry out. Last but not least, my purple. Okay, if you're a really quick worker, you might be able to just print this right away. I'm gonna use a little extra water just in case. I really want it to turn out, okay? And all that I mean by that is taking a wet paintbrush, a clean wet paintbrush, so I rinsed mine in my water here. And then with the drip, drippy wetness still on it, I'm just gonna spread it right over the top of my markers just to get that a little bit wet, okay? So it's kind of revamping all of my marker color here. It's getting wet again. It's getting really juicy. It kind of looks like it's going to drip off the side of my aluminum foil, but that's all good. That's what I'm going for. Okay, now that it's wet, right, all of my colors are sitting on top here, really drippy, drippy. I'm going to take my acorn drawing that I made with pencil, flip it around so that it's facing down, and stick it on top of my tin foil. As soon as it sticks down, I'm gonna rub it with the back of my hand. And the idea is that the marker, right, the pigment from our marker and the wetness from my paintbrush is going to transfer from the tin foil and onto my piece of paper. Again, this is experimental. If it doesn't turn out the first time, don't get too upset about it. You can always try another one, okay? All it takes is a tiny piece of tin foil. Okay, so let's see how it looks. I'm gonna peel it off. Whoa, I did get each color in there. I've got a little bit of a missing space in between, um, but I'm all right with that. I think it still looks really cool. Now, while this one is kind of drying, I'm gonna show you the second way to do this, which is to use paint. So my marker drawing off to the side, different piece of aluminum foil, a fresh piece of aluminum foil, shiny side up. Okay, and this is where I get to use all of my really fun colors of paint. So whatever colors you have on hand is totally fine. I'm gonna start with yellow, it's my favorite color. And same idea, you're just gonna spread the color, the paint, all the way across the shiny side. I'm gonna mix it up here and do a couple different bright colors. I'm really obsessed with warm colors right now because of the fall season. 
oranges and pinks and reds. Okay, maybe I'll finish up with some more yellow. Okay, now this wet paint is very wet. I don't need to add any extra water, so I can print right away with this, okay? Gonna grab my second one here that has my little acorn sketch on it, right? Flip it upside down. And the idea is that when I rub it, the paint is going to transfer from the tin foil onto my paper. Okay. Ooh la la, this reminds me of a sunset. Isn't that cool? So fun. Okay, so now that I've got both of them done, I need to cut them out from the background. So back to my marker sketch. Take a big pair of scissors and I'm just gonna cut out my acorn. Voila, there's one. Scraps go off to the side. And I'll do the same with the one that's painted too. Take my scissors, cut around it. Mine is still a little bit wet, so I'm going carefully. But take your time, let them dry. Okay. Now my acorn caps are gonna go right on top. So I'm gonna use a glue stick, and if you need to trim any off the top, like if this acorn looks too big and clumsy, I can always cut a little bit extra off. I don't have to use everything that I printed. Here we go. Okay, that'll be my acorn cap. So with my glue stick, take my cap off, make the top of it sticky, and then we'll stick it on just like that. Okay, and same for my other one. Glue across the top. Add my acorn topper. The very last thing, if you want to, is to decorate the very top of your acorn. You could use crayons, color pencils, markers, up to you. Um, I really love patterns and textures, so I'm kind of thinking about doing a zentangle on top, which basically means just different kinds of doodles, right, and patterns across. Uh, I'm gonna use a Sharpie today to do it. I have a thicker Sharpie here, fine point Sharpie. Um, and you, again, you can use any colors or any markers that you want to. First thing I'm gonna do is maybe draw a nice outline on my acorn cap, and then I can fill it in with patterns. I wanna do some big circles maybe, some stripes. What else do we know? Squigglies, loop-de-loops. We know zigzags, okay, we know dots. So lots of different ways that you can decorate to make it look fancy, okay? So have fun with this. Like I said, if it doesn't turn out the first time, try another one. Maybe try applying more color or maybe more water to your marker so that it actually shows up a little bit, okay? Have fun, I can't wait to see what you come up with.